Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I know I look a little crazy right now because I only have all my eyes. Um, but in today's video, we're going to be testing out this new L'Oreal foundation. Now, this one I thought was very interesting. This one retails for $16.99. I picked mine up from Ulta. It's got 14 different shades. I have mine in the shade Cream Beige, which is number 25. It is called the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. And what I thought was so interesting about this, A, it's a serum. I have been making my own like little tinted serum with this Biro tomato serum. So that in itself, I was like, okay, well, let me try this one out. Um, it's also got SPF 50 in here and we're going into the warmer months. I live in South Carolina which is extremely brutal in the summer. So um, I thought that this could be good for that. It also is like formulated for aging skin. Now I'm only 32, but I already am like lathering on the creams. I've already seen my skin texture change dramatically. Like this has been the driest winter I have ever had. And I think that's kind of like what's going on with my chin. It is just so freaking dry. Um, but anyway, I thought that that would be interesting. And then I really like that it said this doesn't settle into fine lines and wrinkles. It's got vitamin B3 in there. Um, so it just looked like a good one. And like I said, it's $16.99, so it's not going to break the bank. Now, this comes with the standard one fluid ounce. I do like this component in itself. I love a squeezy tube like this because you can get like every last bit of the product out of here. So I know that this would last you for, this will last you for a while. I'm absolutely sure. Oh, and it's got this little, um, the little squeezer like that. I like that even better now. So I'm going to give this just a little shake. Now this eye look, I am using the Ace Beauté Classical Paradise. I will have a tutorial up on my channel with that. I'm not sure if it'll be before or after this video. Um, but if it's before, I will link it down in the description bar below. But let's go ahead and get in with this. Now in the past, I have had... A lot of luck with L'Oreal foundations in general. The Infallible line, the Pro Matte, the Pro Glow, love those. The Lumi I really like, the True Match. So here we go. Oh, well, I'm just gonna put about that much on my hand. It actually looks like a really good skin tone match for me. And basically, I'm just going to apply this like I would any other foundation. I'm going to kind of dot this around my face. Now, I will say when I make those serums myself, I generally, it's because I'm in a hurry and I will just kind of like rub it on with my fingers. But in general, when I'm applying makeup, if it's not like a 10 minute face, I apply it with a brush generally. So that is what we're going to do. I have just got my little It Cosmetics. This is the Flat Top Kabuki brush. I use this pretty much every single day when I do my makeup. I love this brush so much. Highly, highly recommend It Cosmetics brushes in general. I've got a good amount of their face brushes and they are just so good and they last forever. And um, I use mine every single day, so. They are an investment, but it's a good investment. All right, so just off the bat, it doesn't have like extreme coverage, which I wasn't really expecting it to, but it, it, it is like evening everything out and my skin is just looking like healthy right now. I do like that. I mean, you see that glow. I do think I'm going to try to apply a little bit more and see if we can kind of build this up. Just out of curiosity, you know. It doesn't look heavy at all either, which I love. I'll take a little bit more. And the areas that I want to have a little bit more coverage is like right here. I've just got a ton of redness. And Maybe a little bit on my chin. All right, and then whatever is left on my hand, I'm just gonna kind of pick up with my brush. All 
All right, so you can see adding the additional product, I think it added a little bit more coverage, but I think pretty much like a medium coverage, that's what you're gonna get with this. Having said that, I do think it evened everything out, like I said, really nicely. It looks like my skin, it just looks like healthy, moisturized, like dewy, glowy skin, which I really, really am a fan of, specifically because I am so dry right now. Um, a lot of other things have been just like clinging and looking not good. Um, but I do like the way that this is sitting on the skin. I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup. We'll see what it looks like with everything all said and done. And then I'm, I, I am going to do a few check-ins throughout the day. So be right back. All right. So now that I am done with my makeup, I'm just going to give you kind of like a closer up look of what everything is looking like. Honestly, I think everything is sitting really, really well. It does not look powdery at all. Um, I really, really love it. I think it looks glowy and just healthy and it feels lightweight. It doesn't feel like I have a ton of stuff caked on my face. It really honestly feels like I have nothing on my face. But I'm going to go ahead and run you guys through what I have on the rest. Um, for concealer, I used the One Size Beauty. This is shade Light 1R. Um, which I think stands for like rosy undertones, but anytime I'm using a thinner type of foundation, I always pull for this concealer and it just works so beautifully with it. And then I've got on the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I have been using this one again more recently and it's just one I will always have in my collection and go back to. I will link the collection video with this because that is what stemmed me to pull this back out and start using it. For bronzer, I'm using the Mario. This is the light medium. And anytime I'm doing like an orangey type of a eye look, I just think this pairs so nicely with it. For highlighter, I pulled out an old one. This is the Charlotte Tilbury. This is one of my beloved ones and I need to use it more. I actually cracked it when I was using it and that's what made me like kind of be like, Ooh, I didn't want to break it any further. So I was trying to preserve it, you know? But this is one that she came out with during one of the holidays. I don't remember if it was this year or the year before that. But this is the Hollywood Superstar Glow. This is pricey. I think it's like $58. But it's beautiful A. I love, the, I love this highlighter. One of my favorite highlighters. And the pan is huge. So if you wanted to invest in one really good highlighter, this is a good one. For my blush, I pulled out one of my Fenty ones. I love these Fenty cream stick blushes. This is um, the one in Beach Bum, and I thought it just went really good with my eye look. It's a really good match. These are super easy to use. I rub this on my hand, and then I put a brush in there and put it on. It comes out perfect every single time. Lasts all day. For brows, I've got my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown. And then for the eyes today, I'm using the Ace Beauté Classical Paradise Palette. Like I said, I do have a tutorial up. Um, I will link that down below. But this is just from first impressions. This is like chef's kiss. So beautiful. For the lips, I put on my NYX Nude Suede Shoes Lip Liner. And then one of my favorite MAC lipsticks is a matte version. And this is in the shade Kinda Sexy. And it is just such a beautiful everyday lip shade. I love it so, so much. And MAC matte lipsticks are so creamy. They do not feel drying at all. Love this. And last up is the lashes. And that is the Ilia Fullest Volumizing Mascara. This is just a little mini. I find that these last just about as long as the full sizes though. And yeah, that is everything thus far. I'm going to do a few check-ins throughout the day. Right now, it's probably 8, 8.15 a.m., so we will see how this foundation wears throughout the day. Okay, so it is about 12.45 at this point. I've had this foundation on for about five hours. Now, granted, I don't do anything, like, strenuous at my job, but still, I've had a serum foundation on for five hours, and honestly... 
I still think it looks pretty dang good. I am in my car at lunch right now. So this is natural lighting. This is as clear as you are going to get it. And I think it looks really nice. I mean, I'm happy with it. Still feels really good. It doesn't feel oily. Um, I don't think that it really looks... This glow is from my highlighter. That is not from this foundation. It still looks like basically what it looked like whenever I put it on very first thing this morning. So I'm still really, really liking this foundation. Thumbs up from me thus far. Um, you can see it's kind of worn off on my nose a little bit, but that's common. Um, but everywhere else and a little bit on my chin. But everywhere else, I think it looks really nice. I will probably do one more check-in around like 8 or 9 just so we can see what a full, full day looks like. Alright guys, I lied. I'm going to do two more check-ins. At this time, it is 6.20. Another check-in from my car. I'm always, I swear, at work or in my car these days. I usually don't get home until around 9 p.m. That's the first time I'm sitting down for the day. Um, but yeah, this foundation is looking like I think it still looks really really good again I'm like out in natural light that's the best test I think for you to really get a good idea of how something is sitting on your skin and it just I am extremely impressed thus far we will check in in another hour or two see what the final deal is but I mean, you guys let me know what you think. I think for $17, the shit's looking pretty good. But, um, yeah. All right, I finally have made it home. It is around a little bit after 8 p.m. So I literally have had this foundation on for 12 hours at this point, which I think is a very decent benchmark. And I think it is looking really freaking good, okay? I mean, this has worn better than a lot of my high-end foundations. L'Oreal from the drugstore, like I mentioned, they make a lot of really, really good foundations, and this one is no different. Um, I didn't know how it was going to perform just because I had never tried a serum foundation from the drugstore. And like I said, this says Radiant Serum Foundation. It's got sunscreen. I was kind of nervous about the sunscreen because some sunscreens can make me look a little greasy or just feel weird, you know? This did not do that at all. I have not touched up at all. No touching up, no blotting, nothing. I'm telling you guys, when I put my makeup on, I expect it to wear all day long. Don't babysit it. Too busy to do all of that. So that's the kind of test that I put my stuff through. Um, this one wore beautifully. I think it looks pretty much the same as when I put it on this morning. Like I said, Maybe a little bit of wear on my nose and a little bit of wear on my chin, but that's like common for any foundation for me really. Like rarely does that not happen, but I think it wore really nicely. It looks very smooth, didn't settle weird anywhere. Um, I have no complaints. I think this is a really, really good one. $16.99 from the drugstore. You can use coupons on this. They always have like buy one get one half off, buy two get one free sales. So check it out if you have dry skin like the Sahara like me, if you have aging skin, if you just want some sun protection, if you want to look glowy and radiant without feeling greasy. There you go. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. As I mentioned, I have this eye tutorial um up on my channel as well i will link that down below subscribe if you haven't already catch you in my next one bye guys